congratulations, Linda and Boaz. We love you. Even though injury is the leading cause of death for children in this country, little attention is paid, little funding is available to make any difference. But Linda and Boaz, you have shown that it doesn't take money, it takes passion. And thank you for your leadership and for advocating for safer children products. Hi, my name is Charlie Johnston. My wife Barbara was Danny's pediatrician when he died. And I remember that she went to sit Shiva with Linda and Boaz and I expected her to come back absolutely devastated and instead she came back truly inspired by a couple of people who managed to take pretty much the worst tragedy that can happen to a parent and turn it into a triumph and turn it into energy to do something about it. So Linda and Boaz, I've gotten to know you through Barbara. I want to thank you for everything you've done for the memory of Danny, but mostly what you've done to prevent other Dannys from ever happening. Thank you. My name is David Zivin. I am the group editor of Modern Luxury Magazines here in Chicago. I am also a board member of Kids in Danger. I first came aware of Linda and Boaz almost 20 years ago when I was working at Chicago Magazine. We published a story called How Danny Died. And, and that simple type by Jonathan Ike. And that simple title um, contains so much pain. And uh, my reaction to the story then, as it still is, was what do you do with that? How can you reckon with that? How can you live with that? And yet, I'm on the board now because Linda and Boaz and their family have done something. They've made something, and I'm honored to be serving on the board of this 20-year-old organization. I'm honored to help keep fighting for product safety so that we can try to prevent that tragedy from happening again. Um, Linda Boaz, your example of courage um, is something that I think about almost every day. We all have struggles. We all have adversity, but uh, thank heavens, most of us don't have to go through what you went through. And to handle it with such grace and strength and forward momentum um, is inspiring all the time. And I'm pleased to help continue your fight. Congratulations on 20 years and thank you. Thank you so much for your example. and Boaz, it's Jenny Kirk. I think I was your first work-study student at Kids in Danger, and I remember that summer back in 1998, I applied actually to work at Boaz's psychology lab at University of Chicago, but instead learned about the opportunity to be a work-study student with Kids in Danger, and it was a great experience for me. That summer we did fundraising um, through a celebrity letter writing campaign. And I still have one of the responses we received from Cindy Crawford. She sends her love. But we heard from several other celebrities who did make a financial contribution. And your passion for the mission of Kids in Danger and ability to mobilize resources for the organization was truly inspiring to me and has led to uh, the career that I've chosen in nonprofit management over the past 20 years. Now I'm here in Champaign, Illinois, directing the Champaign Center Partnership, an economic development nonprofit business association downtown. And I owe that in large part to the work that I did through Kids in Danger and how you opened my eyes to the world of nonprofits. So thank you for that. I hope to be able to pass on that mission and drive to my children, Mateo. <laughs> who is uh, eight years old now and Anna is seven. So Linda and Boaz, thank you again. I send you my love. Hi, I'm Heather Mason, a longtime supporter of KID and a KID board member the past few years. I am but one of many KID supporters who marvel at the dedication and commitment that Linda and Boaz have put into bringing KID to the forefront of advocacy for children's product safety. 
Thank you, Linda and Boz, for all the lives that you have and will save and change. Hi, Linda and Boaz. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary of Kids in Danger. It's remarkable all you've done over the past 20 years. You've taken this tragedy, losing your son, Danny, and made it into such a positive thing. Linda, I remember meeting you in 2002 when I lost my son, Andy, and thinking, wow, if I could only do anything like what Linda and Boas have done, it would help me so much. And I did try and take some of that motivation by being a part of Kids in Danger and have two little events in New York to help the organization. But you have been unbelievable, both of you, in terms of helping save lives and product safety, as well as helping people like myself who have lost children and given us hope. Thank you. Linda and Boaz, I've always cherished my very long and close relationship with your sweet family and am especially fortunate to personally know the Crusaders of Children Product Safety. I have always kept it very close in my heart the day I held Danny and he fell asleep in my arms. That is a treasured memory for me. Danny is the reason my grandchildren and all children are safer. As founders of Kids in Danger, I am deeply grateful for all that you have accomplished and will continue to accomplish, not only for my own grandchildren, but all children, to keep them safe from poorly manufactured products and to keep the companies accountable for their production. You are the guardian angels of babies and children, guarding and protecting them from faulty and dangerous products. Thank you and congratulations on all of your hard-won victories over these short 20 years. and Boaz. I will never forget that day in May when my dear friend and colleague Leslie Batterson walked into my office at Sara Lee and told me about the tragedy that had occurred at her daughter McKenna's child care center. I felt as if someone had kicked me in the stomach. Serving on the board of KID has been one of the greatest privileges and honors I've had and I so appreciate the opportunity it's given me to help further the mission of KID. I'm so proud to be part of KID. You have taught me that a small group of dedicated and determined individuals can take a horrible tragedy and turn it into a miracle. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you've done to keep all the kids in my family and in families everywhere safe. Congratulations as we celebrate the 20th anniversary of KID. I look forward to celebrating many more anniversaries with you. Thank you again and may God bless you. Hey, Boaz and Linda. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you for all that you've done to say congratulations for the Kids in Danger honor, but mostly just to tell you how impressed I am with your courage, your strength, your intellect, and really your love for all of humanity and mostly for kids. Love you both and congratulations. As I want to congratulate you for all that you've done for so many people in um, the room tonight, for all, so many people in the country and really in the world. Um, you have been a role model for what two committed, smart, pissed off parents can do um, to make change. And you taught me that um, if you try really hard and if you work really hard, that you can change the system and I always suspected that that was true but I never really knew it and what um, I learned from you was that you can do it um, so thanks for all that you've done thanks for all that you've taught me and thanks for making the world a better and a safer place so here's to you Linda and Bob.
Hi, Linda and Boaz. I sure wish I could be there with you on this extraordinarily important day for such a well-deserved honor. I wanted to put a testimonial up on this website, and I saw all sorts of wonderful testimonials uh, to uh, you as people, to the work that you have done. But you know me, I don't want to do what somebody else has already done. So instead of a testimonial, I decided I'm going to sing you a song. Chicago out in Lincoln Park, a little north of Fullerton and East of Clark, in a tall, tall building from the street to sky. They live a fine looking lady and a funny looking guy. And no one ever told them that you can't find city hall, so they buckled up their holsters, got ready for a brawl. Oh, a Linda just can't be slow, and Boa just can't say no. And everywhere those angels go, they lay the bad guys low Because they gotta be good They had a big idea but they had nothing on the map So they found it on the pavement and they passed around the hat They knew they had to do it cause the world it was right And everybody told them they can't change it overnight But they never listened to the stuff to say If we can't change it overnight then we will change it over day Linda just can't move slow And Boaz just can't say no And everywhere those angels go They lay the bad guys low Cause they got to be good She does all the little things that do And everything she leaves, she leaves it better than it was He says in a sentence what the rest say in a book he ain't afraid of nothing, says that someone else will cook. They are inspiration, the ones who know the best. The ones who know them know that they're the ones who have been blessed. Oh, Linda just can't move slow. And Boa just can't say no. And everywhere those angels go, they lay the bad guys low. But they've got to be good.